Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my night routine. So I know I haven't been active on YouTube, but I really want to start creating more vlogs and morning routines. So hopefully I get more involved in stuff like that. But now that I'm getting ready, I just thought to film a night routine so I can show you what my night looks like on a normal day. I really hope you enjoy this video and if you do, please like it and subscribe. Now let's get started. Okay, so every night I like to take a shower because I feel like I get like super hot and I like to get in my bed like really clean and it just makes me feel like really refreshed at the end of the night. So tonight I'm actually going to be washing my hair because I'm a dancer so I put so much hairspray in it this week and it feels so gross. Like it's so like stiff and like sticky up here, it's disgusting. So yeah, tonight I'm going to be having a shower and then washing my hair. I usually only wash my hair twice a week because my hair doesn't need to be washed every day. But yeah, so the shampoo and conditioner I use is the Shoe Moisture one. I heard super good things on TikTok. So I thought to try it out and I've seen a big improvement in my hair. This is what it looks like if you're wondering. I totally recommend it. There's also one for curly hair, but as you can see, I don't have that. So I got the one that is hydrate and repair. So my hair stays nice and healthy. So this is what my hair looks like now. I think it looks really healthy, especially because I like straighten it and curl it a lot and like do things to it and put it in like high ponytails, which by the way, is not good for your hair at all. But I've started my Jojo Siwa addiction, so. But yeah, I really think it has helped and I've seen a huge difference in like, I don't know, like it just hasn't been as pretty and it just looks healthier and like shinier and like it's not like stiff, well right now it is. It's not like, you know, like it can move and it's like, it feels like super healthy and I have really thick hair as well. So I do want to keep my hair as healthy as possible, especially like when I die. So yeah, I'm going to be using these two shampoo and conditioners in the shower. This company is pretty expensive for shampoo and hair care, so I have to use it wisely because the current time got mad at me for spending like 40 bucks. So thank god I'm actually seeing the new clip on my hair. Okay, not only that, I also used this Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Voice in the shower. So this is kind of like a leave conditioner, but then in the shower after 3 minutes, you wash it out. So I like to put this on and I love it so much. I can just feel my hair being like so much softer and healthier as well. And it's really cool how it comes out and like just squirts out of there. But yeah, so I also put this on. I need to see, I need to see. It's like clean. It's going for you. Okay, we're good. And then lastly in the shower, I also used the scalp massage. So I got this from Amazon. I didn't really know if it would work or not, but I heard good reviews on it, so I thought to give it a try. And you just put it on your head when the shampoo is in and just give it some rubs like this. So it's really going into your scalp and getting rid of any like dead skin cells. I have like a really dry scalp and I used to see like it flaking and it wasn't getting dry. It was like dead skin coming off and I hated it. So I started to use this and I, like nothing comes out anymore. Like, like there's like nothing on my head. So that is really good for me. And I don't know, it's really good because if you keep the roots of your hair healthy, your hair is gonna grow out to be like really healthy. So yeah, I totally recommend getting them. They're about 10 bucks, so yeah. Okay, so that's what I do while I'm in the shower. I know it seems like a lot of products, but my hair can handle this because it is super thick. Also, my hair is really, well, it's not long, but it's like thick and it has layers in it. And then I'm just gonna quickly show you what I use when I get out of the shower. I like to use just either this hair mask once a week. I have another one by the company She Moisture, but today I'm gonna to be using the Garnier one. I usually don't really like the Garnier products, but this one has really helped my hair to like stay healthy and not like get split ends. So I have really enjoyed this one. This is what it looks like. And then also when I'm out of the shower, I put on this hair oil. Also another good thing, I'll be getting more into depth when I start using it. So yeah, I'm gonna get in the shower now and then I'm just gonna put on my PJs back on because I actually just put this on like half an hour ago. But yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower and all of my makeup is off. Now I'm gonna brush through my hair. I always like to brush my hair really gentle when it's wet because it's most delicate when it's wet. So I don't want to like damage it. Okay, so now I'm just squeezing out the last bits of water. Okay, so before I put on the hair mask, I like to do my skincare. 
So we're just gonna be doing a bit of that. Okay, so for the cleanser, I used the CeraVe cleanser. Probably have mentioned this before. Um, it's not bad. Um, I think now that the winter is coming, though, my skin is getting really dry. So I don't think this one's actually working for me because this is meant for oily skin. But the acne is not there. I do like this one though because it foams up and it feels really good on my skin. And like, it just goes on really smooth. I like to spend like an hour doing self-care and stuff because this is something that's super important to me and one of my main priorities. I just find it really relaxing. I'm like, I just like to have like a nice skin, especially when I'm older, that's one of my main goals. And then I just pat it dry with a towel. Okay, so once my face is all dry, I like to brush my teeth before I put on the moisturizer because I feel like when I brush my teeth, it gets like all around my mouth. So I just like to get that out of the way before I put something else on. Okay, so I just finished brushing my teeth and I put my elastics in. That's why I may look weird when I talk. It feels really awkward. Anyway, now before I apply the moisturizer, I'm going to be using some coconut oil. So every night, I'm trying to do these like face massages, and apparently they like uplift your face, give you like a better jawline. There's so many different things that have been scientifically proven, and I found this one girl on TikTok who shows you how to do them. So I have recently been working on that. I have been doing it quite a while now, but I haven't been doing it very frequently. But I went from this to this is, i don't know if you can really tell like a big difference but i think it's been working quite a bit so today i'm going to be sharing that with you just apply any oil onto your face it could be like a face oil but i like to use coconut oil this just makes sure your hands glide easy on your face so you're not like damaging your skin so the first one i like to do is for the jawline here so you grab your two fingers like this and then you just go up and you do that about 20 times Okay, so once you've done that, I like to do my cheekbones. So what I do is I use my two like fingers like this, and I just start from the lips, and I just bring them all the way up over here, hold, and just keep doing that. Okay, so lastly, for my skincare routine, I like to apply the CeraVe moisturizer. Okay, so that is pretty much my nighttime skincare routine. I don't think it's too complicated and it works pretty well for my skin. Now it's time to do my hair. Okay, so I just brushed out my hair and now I'm gonna be applying the not face mask, the hair mask. Like I said, this is what it looks like. It is a hydrating treat and it has aloe vera in it, which is really good for your hair. I'm gonna turn up the lights a little bit. Um, I don't like to apply too much or else my hair gets like so greasy and disgusting. I don't really apply it on my roots, but I like to apply it at the ends of my hair because that is where they usually like split and get like really dry out as well. You know, song is stuck in my head is the one that's like, sorry, I never make it girl. Don't call me sis because I'm not your sister. As you can tell, I am quite the singer. I think that shit's good. Okay, lastly, I just have to put in the hair oil. This is really good for making your hair less frizzy. So if you have like really frizzy hair when you brush it out, this product is for you. Because for me, my hair is like naturally wavy, so if I brush it out, it's like poofy and bad and it looks really damaged. Oils in your hair are basically used as like a moisturizer for your face, so it's giving it like, I don't know, I mean, that was my elbow. I don't know, I mean like, it's not like drying your hair out, so it's giving it like a moisture, if that makes sense. Okay, so I think my hair is finally done. This is what it looks like when it's wet. It's not really that exciting, I don't know why. I showed you. But now I'm just gonna tie it up in a scrunchie. Every night I like to use this um, eyelash serum. It's the company Silk Sense and it's hopefully going to get my eyelashes to grow because they are currently in this 
They're not looking their best. <laughs> Just kidding, you can't even see them. So I'm just gonna apply that like on here. Yeah, they're not even there, what the heck? I can't like close this eye. Okay, so yeah, that is the end of my skincare routine. It's actually like 12.30, I think. So it is pretty late and I'm also getting up at like eight. Also, this is what my room looks like at night. I love it so much. The last thing I need to do is go get some water because I always have some when I go to bed. Okay, so I've done everything I need to do. I hope you enjoyed my night routine. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an amazing night or day.